Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Melissa Morrell and I'm a personal stylist for Real Women. And if you want to see me dressing Real Women live on YouTube, then head over to my Body Shape Masterclasses where I dress women live on YouTube with all lumps and bumps, big boobs, small boobs, flat bottoms, the lot. So um, head over to there. You can do that by clicking on my logo and then when you've clicked on my logo, click on the videos tab and all of the videos that I've done will be right there. As always everything is going to be linked that's the UK links will be under the video the American and the Australian links will be in the first comments box but I have started doing a new thing which is where I have put all of the links for all of the countries onto my website so for those of you who struggle to find the links on YouTube which I know there are a lot of you that do that then please head over to my website I'll put it down down below now and hopefully you can get the links that way and as you can see we're in a completely different location I'm actually on holiday with my family down in the beautiful Cornwall and the temperature and the weather is meant to be so unpredictable whilst we're here I thought I'll document what I wear and Starting off with today, we have gone from absolutely beautiful sunshine early this morning to now very overcast and actually it's probably going to rain a little bit later on. So I don't know what I'm going to show you this week. I just hope I have packed things sufficient enough for the unpredictable British weather. Like what you see today and you can press that subscribe button, I would be very grateful sun has just gone out as you can see so I don't know if you can hear the seagulls going I don't know if any of this is working with the lighting but we're just going to roll with it anyway so as you can see I'm pretty casual right now and that is because I have just done a Pilates class but I'm not getting changed we're going out on a speedboat and the reality of that for me and my family is that my husband will be driving my kids will be on and off a weightboard or rubber ring and I will be hanging half off the boat pulling them in getting wet um, probably quite cold out there on the river that we are going on and also we are stopping off we're mooring at a really beautiful pub so I've got to look kind of practical for the boat yet half decent at the same time and whenever I want to do that, I always resort to gym gear. And what makes the difference is putting a sort of neutral, nice top on. This one is from H&M. My, um, my gym pants and I always wear sort of a matching top as well. So when I do take that off, it looks nice. I'm sorry, that's Monty barking in the background. This one is like a petrol bluey type of colour. So I'm not so keen on the black, but I don't like the lighter colours in case you sweat, because as we know, it all shows up. But this sort of petrol blue, it's like a, is it petrol blue? It's kind of like a petrol blue, steely grey type of colour. Sorry, I'm going to have to put my sunglasses on because I am very much aware that I'm just squinting. But what makes the difference again is not only the jumper that is kind of making all of this look less just sportswear but also I coordinate the trainers as well so these are actually a new pair of trainers they are the Vega, Vasia, I'm not sure how you wear it you've probably all seen me showing you the white ones that I have got super comfortable but more of a chunkier practical um, trainer for actually doing sports in but is very acceptable to wear on a casual basis as well so they go really nicely with jeans still showing the ankles because that helps as well and then like just now when the sun goes out I can simply just take the top off and if you're worried about the top showing your little midriff there literally just tie it around and that covers anything up but still looks nice and coordinated and I'm wet, ready to catch a few rays hopefully if the sun actually stays out but on the other extreme the item that I have got with me and that I will probably end up wearing the most whilst here in Cornwall is my dry robe so for anyone that 
holidays in Britain, you will no doubt be very aware of dry robe. These are the robes where the arms are wide enough that when you zip it up like that, you can literally take your swimming costume or your wetsuit off underneath it. But it's brilliant for going on the boat. It's brilliant for just having in the back of the car all the time. But again, you'll notice I'm still relatively coordinated. So the thinking behind my trainers with a slight bit of grey in, my leggings, my jacket, is actually deliberate. Okay, so I didn't just go for the plain black one like a lot of people do. I really thought about how am I going to wear it, what colours am I going to wear it with, and went from there. Now I know camouflage isn't going to be for everyone, but I quite liked it. Yes, they are expensive and you don't need to go for the brand name, which is Dry Robe. You can get them on Amazon. I will link quite a few alternatives. There's a really nice beige one on Amazon that I also found as well. So off on the boat now. So wish me luck. Hopefully my husband won't capsize and I will see you back again for another outfit. Okay, so I thought I would show you this outfit. It's actually getting towards the end of the day today, but I've actually worn this outfit in four ways, I think it has been today. So you've got a standard pair of shorts on from River Island. I have shown these in another video where I've worn them with the matching top. But today I have worn it just with this little vest top. Let me see if I can show you that. Just like that, because it's been lovely and warm at times. This is just a vest top from Ara. And it's not, a lot of people are saying, well, I can't wear cropped, but it's actually not showing much at all. And it's actually strategically placed at the smallest part of me. So I wouldn't wear that if I had low waisted shorts on or as if it was any higher than sort of showing that barely a centimetre, really. So that's how I started off this morning wearing it. I then popped to a well-known supermarket um with my daughter so i wanted a little bit of cover up so i wore it like this and worn like that for the supermarket felt a lot more appropriate but still sort of sunny type of outfit but i just felt a little bit more covered up and this is just the arquette shirt that went with the arquette shorts as well and you don't need to knot that you could tuck that in as a proper shirt I've just knotted it quickly just to show you but when you do knot it in like a proper shirt then you're going to get extra leg length let me see if I can show you that there we go because the waistband is higher so suddenly your legs will actually look a little bit longer I'm not sure if that's coming across or not it's hard to make my legs look longer when I'm only five foot three but so basically just tucking your top in and showing that center point will help there's Monty wanting to get into the room and then when I was just sitting around the pool here it went to this type of look so just a lot more casual and when you're packing for your holiday you need to think in terms of layers if that's what the weather where you're going requires from you so all of my layers are pretty much neutral so I can build outfits up and that's the key to it and again I think I mentioned it maybe earlier and then finally when it started to get nippier only sort of 10 minutes or so ago I chucked on this jumper and this is what I look like by the end of the evening. So the cream jumper from H&M comes in handy again because it's neutral and it's gone with everything else that I've bought with me. I do have a washing machine here, by the way. So yes, I did have to wash it after I wore this on the boat. So, but, but that's fine. I don't mind doing the odd little, little bit of washing when it, may, it means that all my outfits go together really well. But nice jersey, li jersey line, so really comfortable. And yeah, we're going to have a barbecue, so perfect for sort of sitting around the house in now for the rest of the evening. So start with your outerwear. 
Then when you've got your outer layers, start to build the outfit underneath it. These extra layers that sort of keep us warm are the layers that are the most important because the outfit is often ruined when we just stick on, for example, in this case, if I just stick on a black shirt that wouldn't work as well. It wouldn't look as summery as it does right now, and it just wouldn't be as tonal. So I'm having to do a voiceover, I'm afraid, to the following photographs because it was such a glorious day today that we wanted to get up and out. So talking you through what I'm wearing here, so I've got on a hat, which is just from Zara, they do them every year, but I've got this orangey red, swimming costume on from New Look, which is very flattering. It's got the frills on the shoulders, which helps to balance out my hips. It's got the belt that comes round the middle bit, so to showcase a smaller waist. And the V-neck is really good if you've got a large bust and you want to halve that area. These swimming costumes are in the sale right now as well. So again, I will link everything for you. I've also got on a white linen shirt and some cut off jeans, both from H&M and I'm carrying with me my Annie Bing bag. Now I know a lot of you have seen this bag before and you've laughed at how big it is, but I tell you what, it comes into its element when taking children to the beach. So it's going to be completely full today and because it's kind of like a canvasy type of fabric, it washes really well if I get loads of sand in it or suntan cream, etc. So I'm never without that when I go on the beach. And then on my feet, I have just got on some Havianas because they are easiest to walk on the sand in. So now moving on to the next photograph, within probably about half an hour of being on the beach, this is the reality of what I look like. So the white linen shirt is still on underneath my big robe, but as you can see, the dry robe is out again. <laughs> Don't you just love the British weather? And this is when the dry robe just comes into its own really. So even though I'd only got shorts on and a swimming costume, I was still really warm on the beach when the weather took a turn like that. Just popping on quickly to show you a really simple, easy outfit. My husband and I are leaving the kids and um, they're old enough by the way, and pop into the pub just for a quick drink with the dogs. So it's got a little bit nippier, it was nicer today. So I've just got on a really cute little top here. Um, this is an old one from Zara. Oh, sorry, Monty has arrived on cute. Um, oh, and Ted as well, another one here today. But I know of a top very similar to this from And Other Story, so I will link that for you. Jacket is from Hush, it's quilted and it's double-sided. So I could wear it the other way around if I wanted to. And I have just got some jeans on from Mother. They are the Tomcat ripped ones. You don't have to get them ripped. I know a lot of you don't like rip, that's fine. And that's just a, a wash choice. So they come in all different washes. And then I've got some like little gladiator sandals on. They're actually surprisingly really, really comfy to walk in. And often with these gladiator type sandals, as you walk the leather straps start to undo and these ones don't so they're from Marks and Spencer's I can highly recommend them so yeah so just off for a drink with my husband to the local pub and it's not far if it was then I would be putting my trainers on instead and just some plain white ones or my all my wedged white canvas ones I will insert a picture from H&M that would go really nice with this outfit if I just needed to walk that little bit further and not in this type of sandal so I will see you tomorrow. I nearly forgot to say but my jewellery as mostly always is from Monica Vinader. I've just spread my rings out today because I haven't got my bracelet on. I tend to do that. If I've got a bracelet on then I will stack my rings and then if I haven't got a bracelet on I will tend to share the rings out like that and then that's a Monica Vinader, just a small fine one and then the big coin necklace as well. Okay, so today is going to be a scorcher. It is um, very early, so the sun isn't out right now, but here in the UK, we are expecting a heat wave today. So I've kept it really, really simple with a white dress 
got pockets. It's from the White Company and I have teamed it with these Gladiator sandals which are from Marks and Spencers. I'm just wearing my Monica Vinader jewellery and then just got my sunglasses there just to split the look up. Um, this dress is like a cheesecloth dress. I do have another white cheesecloth dress, but it's got sleeves in. I will put a picture of that in if I can find it for you. Now, the thing about these dresses are, if you look at me right now, it is pretty much all about my ankles and my arm, the parts of the skin that you can actually see. The rest is effectively a tent dress. So it hides a multitude of sins, which is fantastic. But if you aren't comfortable showing your arms and your shoulders, perhaps this is a larger area for you, it's not particularly toned, or you've got really white legs sticking out, for example, then this dress is not going to do anything for you. So in that case, this is where I would wear a white dress with some sleeves in. So I will hopefully have put the picture up for you so you can see an alternative. The alternative one is from me and M. Um, it is gorgeous. I do wear it a lot. And I tend to wear that one if I am in town or somewhere like that, where I want a little bit more coverage. But today is meant to be really, really hot. So keeping it really simple. This one is great because it has got adjustable straps so you can have this as high or as low as you want it. I'll be pairing this one today with my ball bag and I might even change my shoes to these ones which are the ones from Bowdoin that I wear quite a lot. And they're quite nice because they coordinate, as you can see there, with the bag. Just adding a bag like that anyway just helps to br break up that whole white look as well. I'm sorry, the sun is really bright now, so I'm really struggling to get some good lighting. So I'm wearing this today just to do some errands with my daughter. She wants to go into the local town and buy a shell necklace, as you do. I remember doing the same when I was younger. So this is what I'm wearing to keep cool around the town, but still sort of look a little bit covered up. It doesn't look like it right now. It is promising to be a really, really gorgeous day. It's just, I come out here and film whilst my family's still asleep, so it doesn't interrupt our family holiday, basically. Um, so I'm hoping that it clears up because it's meant to be lovely. And so this is what I'm wearing out today. So we are going to the beach, but we always go for a bit of lunch or something like that. So whilst I've got my bikini on underneath and a shirt, which I'll just take the shorts off if I'm sort of walking up and down the beach with Monty or anything, but so I've still got a little bit of coverage. But equally, when I go into a shop, all I would do, I'll just put my glasses on just so I can see what I'm doing. All I'll do is do something on those lines when I go in for something to eat and then I'm a little bit more respectable when we um, are in a restaurant or something on those lines but a linen co-ord set is one of the most worn pieces in my wardrobe for the summertime. This one is from Arquette but there are loads of them around and they don't have to be exactly the same colour but just something of similar tones always looks really good and my tip for you is to make sure on the shirt it covers your bottom because that sort of area is what most of us are conscious of. So that's the type of sizing I go for. So if that means you need to size up, then size up in something like this. Now I might have my gladiator sandals on right now. More to be honest with you because I've just been taking some photographs for Instagram. But the reality is that I will probably wear my Havianas. They are gold colour. I wear them every single year. I probably buy a pair every two years. They're really inexpensive. These are the slim ones. Again, I will link them for you. But again, they coordinate with my outfit and that's far easier to walk on the beach than my gladiator sandals are going to be so always have a neutral pair of flip-flops um, thongs 
that's what we used to call them in Australia, I'm not sure what you call them in America, but you'll all know what I mean, and again, they're all links. So I will see you again tomorrow. Okay, so today's little outfit is from H&M. It is a baggy jumpsuit, can you see that? I've just got it on with my gladiator sandals, my Amazon cross bag, and I'm taking with me, just in case, a white little bomber jacket. Um, I think this is really cute. It was very inexpensive. I will link it. Note how with a lot of these sort of beachy casual outfits, I'm still wearing all my jewelry. Okay, so it's these bits that really make the difference. This one has got um, no back on, as you can see. So I am wearing that bra solution that I spoke about on my swimwear video. So if you didn't see that video and want to know what I'm talking about, I'll put the link up for you here. But essentially it's a stick on bra that sort of pulls everything together and gives you a little bit of shape when you can't wear a backless bra. And if you are really big chested, then you want the ones from Nude, N-O-O-D. But if you're not big chested, then these ones from Amazon do absolutely fine. So that will allow me to go without a bra pretty much all day. So it's zebra print, as you can see, sort of yellowy type of orange, not usually a color I would wear, but I just saw it in the shops and thought it was quite sweet. It's missing pockets. You know how I love my pockets. So I'd love to be able to do that, but I think it was about $24.99, something on those lines, and it's just super cool. But if you don't like your arms, then just pop on a little jacket, or if obviously it gets cooler in the day, because we're just going off and doing a little bit of sort of sightseeing today. So it might be warm, it might not, and it's quite hard getting that balance between looking summery when you are on a holiday location, but still keeping yourself warm as well. And I think because you've got the extra coverage with the trouser part here, and then you can add a jacket really easily because. Um, just picking up on the white or the cream is really easy to match. It makes it a really easy outfit to wear for a bit of sightseeing or something like that. Okay, so just checking in for this morning. We are just about to go to a cafe for breakfast and then we're going out on the boat again. So it is really rainy and miserable out there right now. So I've thrown on a super old raincoat. This is just from Jules. But I've got two coats with me. I've got this raincoat, which is obviously shorter and lighter. Then I've got my big dry robe with me. So the dry robe will be great because we're going out on the boat later on. And underneath, I've just got this jumper on from H&M. I always go oversized in these type of jumpers. It just looks better. I think when you go too tight like that, not only does it highlight any sort of lumps and bumps down here, but it also looks a little bit sort of old fashioned. So going oversized is a better option for that sort of slouchy look. If that oversized there is cutting you at your widest point, then you can just it in the middle there and create a bit of an uplift which is going to make the legs look longer but quite frankly today I'm going for breakfast I'm hoping to eat an awful lot so the fact that it covers over my stomach is um, something welcome today. So these jumpers are great they're about $12.99 they are fleece lined see that there and they're really nice and warm and I find they wash really well as well so I don't think there's any need to go any more expensive on a jumper like this. So off to the cafe, then on a boat, and then I will check in later on, because I think we're off to a rest. So this is the outfit that I am wearing today. This is from Next. It is a navy pair of shorts with a matching navy blouse. Now they also do the matching wide leg trousers. So if you're not comfortable in short, just swap it up for the navy trousers and you get essentially exactly the same type of look going on. So I really like this combination because I think when you've got a blouse and a pair of shorts on, it elevates it up somewhat. So you can sort of still go to a nicer restaurant or I'll be, it's a, it's a casual restaurant we're going to, but it's still nicer. So I've just got my gladiator sandals on and you've probably seen in this video, I've either worn my gladiator sandals, my raffita sandals or my trainers. 
because that's all I bought with me. So, and that has worked really quite well because they're all neutral. So I was able to swap in and out from all of them. My jewelry is from Monica Vinader and a couple of pieces from Masoma on there as well. This is probably me signing off now because we are going home tomorrow. However, we are lucky enough to be going off to Croatia in three days time, I think it is. So I thought I would do a pack with me video. So, can probably very different wardrobe other than the odd um, really high summer piece that I've been able to wear this week because of the heat wave but more bikinis more throw on dresses for the evening we're going to quite a nice hotel where we'll have to dress up a little bit in the evening so a nice selection of summer stuff coming up in that one so tune in for that I hope you've enjoyed this if you have and you could press the subscribe button I'd be most grateful and I will see you again soon. Bye.